So I'm in Santiago right now, about to fly to the Falkland Islands. It is 4 a.m. Time to get going onto the Falklands. And I'm back in the room. <laughs> My flight's been cancelled for severe weather until tomorrow. Uh, hopefully I do get to go tomorrow, so I'm basically staying the whole next 24 hours in this airport hotel. Because that's the thing about these far-flung exotic destinations in the middle of nowhere. Um, there's only one flight that goes a week. If it's cancelled, hopefully it goes the next day. So yeah, this, this one here with the big cancelled, that, that's my flight today. Luckily I'm in an airport hotel, so I only had to walk across the road to the terminal and then back to my room. Would have obviously been a lot worse if uh, I had to travel all the way here. So yeah, no big deal. We go again tomorrow. I can't actually sleep. It's 5 a.m. and breakfast starts in a minute. So I'm gonna do that and then yeah, see what I can do today. 24 hours stuck in an airport hotel. Guys, a few hours later, and I'll be honest, I'm not mad about this. Chelsea Man City on the TV. And although I'm going to Falklands a day later, this is a pretty good alternative. I really get to do this. So to sit in the hotel room and watch Chelsea Premier League football on the big TV is a pretty good day. I think I'm going to get room service. Right. Treated myself, and somehow Chelsea is still winning. <laughs> what a day. All right, it's a draw, that'll do. And I'm gonna try and get some sleep because I'm up at 4 a.m. again. Good night. We're at 4 a.m. Here we go again. Success, I've checked in and I'm on the way. So I'm flying domestic, even though obviously Falklands is a different country. Well, it's not actually, it's, it's England, but it's a different country, it's Chile. Um, because I have to transit via Punta Arenas, which is the end of the earth, down next to Argentina, obviously, but also Antarctica. So I have no information, no one told me, but this flight is leaving 30 minutes earlier than yesterday. Thankfully, I'm here on time. I'm gonna quickly nip into the lounge, grab some food, and then go. Ooh. So I'm not really sure how contentious the Falkland Islands still are. Uh, I couldn't fly there direct from Argentina, so I had to go this long route round. I'm actually I'm stopping up into Arenas, and then there's another flight on to Mount Pleasant. Uh, Maybe I'll get into the reasons for that later. Right now, I'm just gonna have my coffee and jump on my first flight to Punta Arenas. Finally. Okay, just about to board now. One interesting thing that I hadn't mentioned is I don't know if I'm gonna have any internet when I get there. There is in um, the main town of Stanley, but I'm going straight to Bleecker Island. So this might be the last time I have internet for a few days. escorted back airside and I haven't actually left Chile yet so I haven't been stamped out so I think we do that quickly here so it's going to get stamped out of the country before flying on to the Falklands. Uh, I 
think we're just straight back on. It's the same plane, just letting other people on, letting some other people get off, and now we go on. That, by the way, was one of the most beautiful plane journeys I've ever been on. We flew all the way over Patagonia and then landed down here, but all of it was beautiful. I, I'm going there in a couple of weeks. So that was a nice little preview of what I'm going to get to see. My game is the lounge. It's free. I've only got like 10 minutes, but it's free. That's done, I just got stamped out of Chile. I'm ready to go. Now technically, I'm about to fly home, kinda. to the Falkland Islands. <laughs> uh, I couldn't film in the last airport because it's also military, uh, so there's no filming there. I've just driven through Stanley with my host, Sasha, from the Falkland Islands, and we're now at the other airport, which hopefully I'm gonna get a plane to fly onto Bleecker Island. It's gonna be like a little tiny prop plane, um, which is waiting around because there's, there's no one here right now. <laughs> First impressions after just driving through is the scenery is kind of similar to Scotland, the Peak District. Um, really interesting. I'm just asking about everything, which I'm going to share with you as these videos go on. So it's kind of like being back in the UK, but not on the other side of the world. I think there's some really interesting differences. I'm going to get into that, but for right now, we're going to jump on the plane and head to Bleecker Island, which is about a 20 minute journey, I think, once people come. Alright, so I'll go from there down to here, to Bleecker Island, and just flew into here, so driving up and down. So my flight's in about an hour, I'm just waiting for the plane to come in and then I'm connecting to Bleecker Island. This is now Stanley, which is the main town in the Falkland Islands, and I figured since I'm here and I've got to wait around, I may as well get the Falkland Islands Iron Lady, which is a local beer here. <laughs> and if you know the history, then you'll know why they chose that name. Cheers. It tastes tough. It tastes stern. It tastes the Thatcher. Yeah, anyway, of course, Margaret Thatcher is the link. Uh, good though, nice beer. I also got a quiche. You know, one thing I was curious about, I was asking Sasha on the way, is um, what the price is like, because it's such a distant place to get to. I thought things might be quite expensive. But interestingly, they have no tax on alcohol. So actually, some of these things are pretty cheap. It's £6.95 for espresso martini. Uh, a beer is like, a pint is like £3.50. Um, yeah, I mean, that, that there just in itself is pretty good. And then walking around the supermarket a minute ago, because I had to get some sunglasses, things are also pretty comparable. Surprising. Anyway, quiche. Good quiche. One thing that is a little bit different though is the Wi-Fi situation. I can't just connect to the Wi-Fi here. I can't get data on my phone. I can, but only with a local network called Shore. And now I'm here with the tourism board, so they've set me up with these cards. I've got four or five pound Wi-Fi cards. But I think each of these only lasts around 15 minutes. So it's quite expensive to get Wi-Fi and data here. I'm fully prepared to not really have it for the next few days, but you can pay for it if you want it. Trip now and I'm about to get on this tiny Figas or Figas plane, which is a 
Falkland Islands Government Air Service. Tiny little red plane, little Cessna. I've got <laughs> some earplugs. But I'm also going to be looking out the window because apparently you get to see some whales sometimes. Who knows? <laughs> this is cool. Thank you. So first things first, I have to clean my shoes in the biosecurity foot bath. How are you? Yeah, I'm really good. Okay. I'm here. Four flights later, I arrived to Bleecker Island in the Falklands. I mean, look at this. I don't know what to make of it so far. I'll be honest. It's, um, I had no idea what to expect, but it's just bit weird. It's beautiful. Like the flight in then was incredibly beautiful. And then it's like Scotland or like the Peak District. And I don't know if that's just because I'm equating it to being back in the UK because of the connection to the UK, obviously. But part of the scenery looks the same. <laughs> and yeah, it's, it's stark, but it's beautiful. I don't know, it's just my first few hours here and I've still got the rest of the week to explore. Uh, uh, so far, it's one of the most unique places I've ever been. And it's so far out in the middle of nowhere, like it's difficult to get here. That makes it really interesting as well. So I'm very excited to explore more. We've just arrived to this island, but I'm gonna leave this video here because it is getting dark. I'm going to go have dinner and then tomorrow I'll explore the island and then we'll start the proper Falkland Islands video then. For now, I'll just say thank you for watching. Check back for the next video. I'm going to do a whole series of Falkland Island videos. I really want to dive into this place and figure out everything about it in the next week. So check back for that. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.